Over September 29, shellings by Russian military in Donetsk region killed eight and wounded 17 people, said Pavlo Karelenko, the head of the Donetsk Regional Military Administration. Four people died in Dolina and one in each of the townships, Bohorodichne, Slovyansk, Vodane and Shevchenko. Mr. Kirilenko noted that it is now impossible to determine the accurate number of victims in Mariupol and Volnovaha. 909 people have been killed and 2,288 injured in the Donetsk region since the Russian Federation invaded Ukraine. According to the press service of the State Emergency Service headquarters in Donetsk region, the rescuers have finished clearing the debris of a three-story residential building destroyed in Slovyansk by the Russian bombardment on September 27. They retrieved a perished woman born in 1966 from under the ruins. 30 tons of the building's structural elements were sorted out. The work is completed, the emergency service reports. Once again, this tragedy emphasizes the importance to fill out applications for evacuation or refusal from it. In critical situations that unfortunately are becoming regular, it is crucial to know the exact number of residents staying in a house to save their lives, said Vadim Lach, the head of the Slovyansk city military administration. Early on September 30, Russian forces carried out missile strikes on Zaporizhia. It is estimated that the missile attack killed 25 and injured 28 people in the city uptown, as reported by Oleksandr Staruch, the head of the Zaporizhia Regional Military Administration. A number of explosions in the regional center thundered after 7 a.m. Specifically, the missiles targeted a civilian humanitarian convoy. The people were standing in a queue to enter the temporarily occupied territory. According to Kirilo Timoshenko, deputy head of the president's office, approximately 19 missiles were launched on Zaporizhia from S-300 anti-aircraft systems. Four of them hit the area of an auto market and the place where the civilian convoy was concentrated. Oleksandr Sinkevich, Mykolaiv city mayor, reported that on the evening of September 29, the armed forces of the Russian Federation attacked Mykolaiv. As a result of the hit by a cluster projectile, there are dead and wounded. According to the mayor, a Russian projectile hit near a public transport stop. As of 21.30, according to the regional prosecutor's office, buildings and cars were also damaged as a result of the shelling. Investigators have opened criminal proceedings for violence the laws and customs of war combined with intentional murder. The debris from the ammunition was removed and will be sent for examination. Mr. Sinkevich, the mayor, announced that as of 1920, on September 29, three deaths are known. Also, Hanna Zamazeva, the head of Mykolaiv Regional Council, reported on 12 wounded. Dmitro Pletenchuk, the spokesman of Mykolaiv Regional Administration, told Suspilne correspondents that the strike was carried out from the Tornado S multiple rocket launcher systems. During daylight hours, at the beginning of 6 o'clock in the evening, a missile attack was carried out on the city of Mykolaiv using the Tornado S multiple rocket launcher systems, which is a modified missile of BM-30 smerge system, Mr. Pletenchuk said. Vitaly Kim, the head of Mykolaiv Regional Military Administration, announced that on the night of September 30, Russian troops attacked the sleeping area of Mykolaiv with two rockets. One of the rockets hit a nine-story building. There is serious damage. People were under the rubble. Seven explosions, at least two of them are outside the city. The Russian military attacked a sleeping residential area. One rocket hit a nine-story building. There is serious damage. People are under the rubble, Vitaly Kim wrote. Rescuers unblocked a woman from under the rubble. She's alive. In total, as of 6.15 a.m., eight people are known to be injured. A fire broke out at the point of impact. Cars are on fire. Rescue services work there. The information was also confirmed by Oleksandr Sinkevich, Mykolaiv city mayor. As a result of the night shelling, which was hit by a Russian rocket, four apartments were completely destroyed. Another six were partially destroyed. As of 8 a.m., the rescuers completed the work that lasted all night. All people were pulled out from under the rubble, reported the deputy head of the office of the president of Ukraine. 
On September 29 and the morning of September 30, Mykolaiv region was massively shelled by Russian troops. The press service of the State Emergency Service of Mykolaiv region reported that as a result, three fires broke out. Transformers, cars and a garage were on fire. In Mykolaivsky district, the Russians targeted transformers. At 5 in the morning, the fire was extinguished. The fire destroyed three transformers and 230 liters of oil. The total area of the fire was 50 square meters. 25 rescuers worked on the spot and six special vehicles were involved. In Mykolaiv, at 1 a.m. on September 30, a shell and its debris hit Krylova Street. Five cars caught fire on an area of 20 square meters. Also, a garage caught fire in the village of Polyhon of Shevchenkovy Hromada. The fire was extinguished at 1.57 on an area of 20 square meters. Valentin Reznichenko, the head of the regional military administration, announced in his Telegram channel that on September 29, Russian troops hit Dnipro with two missiles. It got into him, one of the rockets hit a residential area for the second time as it did a few weeks ago. They also targeted a transport company. There is a strong fire. The administrative building and about 50 buses are on fire. According to Boris Filatov, the mayor of the city, they hit with Iskander-type missile. Emergency services are working at the scene. Valentin Reznichenko, the head of the regional military administration, stated in his Telegram channel that on the night of September 30, the Russian army shelled Nikopolsky district of the Dnipropetrovsk region. According to his report, Russian troops struck the area three times with BM-21 and heavy artillery, industrial facilities, a dozen private houses, a water pipe and a power line were damaged in Chervonogrigorivka Gromada as a result of the shelling. Shells hit private homes in Nikopol. There are no casualties or injuries. The forces of the Russian Federation fired one of the villages of Bilopilla Romada with mortars. Ten hits were recorded, five buildings, the premises of the cultural center and the power line were damaged. Dmitry Zhevitsky, the head of Suma Regional Military Administration, said that there are no victims among the civilians. Mines exploded in the middle of the street. There are craters from ruptures in the gardens, in the middle of the road, near the houses of local residents, Mr. Zhevitsky wrote.